Can you name these 10 muscle cars from the 60s and 70s? If you consider yourself a fan of Tony or muscle cars, then I challenge you to complete this quiz about the top 10 muscle cars from the 60s and 70s. Before we start, let's go over the rules of the quiz so everyone knows how it works. First of all, we will share some details of the car and then you'll see one muscle car in each question and you have to name it. You have 15 seconds to answer each question and after 5 seconds you will see the options. After the car appears, you'll see four options. For scoring, you earn 10 points for each correct answer, but you lose five points for each wrong answer. If you get the first question wrong, but answer the next one before the options appear, you get back the five points you lost. If you haven't answered any incorrectly and you answer before the options appear, you still just earn that normal 10 points. To pass the quiz, you need at least 70 points. All right, let's move on and see how well you know your muscle cars. Also, don't forget to comment down your final result down below. This car was known for its aggressive styling and powerful V8 engine. Is it A, the 1968 Plymouth Barracuda, B, the 1971 Pontiac GTO, C, the 1974 Torino GT, or D, the 1969 Dodge Charger RT? The answer is 1969 Dodge Charger RT. Now, this next car became famous after appearing in the movie Bullet. Is it A, the 1972 Chevrolet Camaro, B, the 1970 Dodge Challenger, C, the 1969 Pontiac Firebird, or D, the 1968 Ford Mustang GT? The correct answer is the 1968 Ford Mustang GT. This car was known for its 454 cubic inch engine and high performance. Is it A, the 1971 Dodge Demon, B, the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS, C, the 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass, or D, the 1969 Mercury Cougar? The true answer is the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. This car is famous for its high performance and bright colors. It also had a powerful 366 horsepower engine under its hood. Is it A, the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge, B, the 1968 Dodge Charger RT, C, the 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle SS, or D, the 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1? The answer is 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. But what about a car that was equipped with a 426 Hemi V8 engine and is considered one of the most powerful muscle cars of its time? Is it A, the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, B, the 1971 Dodge Challenger RT, C, the 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda, or D, the 1969 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am? The answer is 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. This next car was built for performance and had a 302 cubic inch V8 engine that was perfect for racing. Is it an A, 1968 Chevrolet Corvette, B, 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge, is it C, the 1971 Dodge Charger SC, or D, 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28? The answer is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. This car became iconic for its bold design and a 426 Hemi V8 engine that delivered some serious power. Is it A, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS? Is it B, the 1968 Ford Mustang GT? Is it C, a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner? Or D, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT? The answer is 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. This car was built for speed and featured a 428 cubic inch V8 engine, making it one of the most powerful Mustangs ever made. A, a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS, B, a 1967 Shelby GT500, C, the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge, or D, a 1972 Dodge Charger RT. The answer is the 1967 Shelby GT500. Then we have a car that is remembered for its sleek design and powerful 455 HO engine, which made it a top choice for muscle car enthusiasts. 
Is it A, a 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1, B, a 1971 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, C, a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona, or D, a 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda? The answer is 1971 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This car was known for its high performance and came with a 455 Stage 1 engine, making it one of the fastest muscle cars of its time. Is it A, 1968 Chevrolet Nova SS, B, 1970 Oldsmobile 442, C, 1970 Buick GSX, or D, 1969 Ford Torino Cobra? The answer is 1970 Buick GSX. This next car was built for performance, featuring a 428 Cobra Jet V8 engine and was Mercury's answer to the muscle car wars of the late 1960s. Was it A, the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS? Was it B, a 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator? Was it C, the 1972 Dodge Challenger? Or was it D, a 1967 Pontiac Tempest? The answer is the 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. This car became a major player in the muscle car market with its 400 cubic inch V8 and performance upgrades, gaining the nickname, the Gentleman's Muscle Car. Was it A, a 1966 Oldsmobile 442? Was it B, the 1967 Ford Fairlane GT? Was it C, a 1972 Dodge Super B? or D, a 1971 Mercury Cyclone? The answer is a 1966 Oldsmobile 442. Next, we have a budget-friendly muscle car with its 446-pack engine, offering high horsepower at a lower cost. Was it A, the 1970 Dodge Super B? Was it B, a 1968 Chevrolet Impala SS? Or was it C, a 1972 Plymouth GTX? Maybe it was D, the 1971 Ford Ranchero GT. The answer is a 1970 Dodge Super B. Known for its lightweight body and potent 340 cubic inch V8, this car offered impressive performance and affordability for muscle car fans. Was it A, a 1970 AMC Rebel Machine? Was it B, a 1971 Buick Skylark GSX? Was it C, a 1972 Plymouth Duster 340? Or how about D, a 1969 Mercury Montego MX? And finally, this last masterpiece offered a variety of powerful engine options, including the high output 400 cubic inch V8, combining performance and everyday usability. Was it A, the 1970 Plymouth Satellite? Was it B, the 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme? Was it C, a 1968 Pontiac Tempest Custom? Or was it D, the 1969 Buick Riviera GX? 